Do you want to get stronger biceps for arm wrestling? In this video, I'm going to show you five exercises that you can do just with dumbbells to get stronger at arm wrestling. We know not everyone will have gym like we do, where it's mostly arm wrestling specific equipment, training, and everything is here for us to get better at arm wrestling. But there are a lot of stuff that you can do. Today, I'm going to share with you five exercises that you can do uh, just with the dumbbells to get stronger at arm wrestling, to have stronger back pressure, up pressure, whatever you call it, to have strong enough biceps to being able to open your opponent's hand up, increasing the distance between their upper arm and their forearm. So back pressure, uh, what we call an arm sling or an uh, angle, or what I like to say, that's very important thing for us. That's one of the most important things in arm wrestling. So today I'm going to share with you five exercises with different variations. So it's going to be just a little bit more than five and you can choose how you want to do it. And uh, yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. Again, setting up some ground rules because everyone always asks how many sets and reps. So I'm going to give you two variations for this one. First with lower weights, and if you feel a little bit tired and you need to recover, I recommend eight to 15 reps with control. With higher weights, you can lose just a little bit of that control and one to five reps, both of them three to four sets. So first one is our favorite Scots bench. Everyone has seen these, almost every gym have them. If you don't have a Scots bench, you can do the same thing just on a normal bench. So here, before you start, you need to set up correctly. I would like to set up as I would on arm wrestling table. So I don't want my arm outside. I want it to be in like this. I'm not just working on my biceps directly. If I want to do that, I would just do full range. In arm wrestling, you will do partial range. So 90 degrees, or if I'm working with lower weights, I'm going to go a little bit lower like this and going up. I'm trying not to turn my other shoulder out, not do it like this. Stay tight, stay in like this. So you can have your arm in supinated position like this. You can have it about 45 degrees where the tension is divided between your brachialis muscles, so all the elbow flexor group, or you can have your arm in a hammer position like this where it's not as much on your bicep, but on the all other elbow flexors. You need to understand in arm wrestling, you don't start your match with your arm like this. You start it like this. So I always like to circle around them. At some points, I'm going to do hammer. At some points, I'm going to do just uh, for, your, for your bicep supinated position. So one more time, let's say it's 45 degrees right in the middle. And I'm going a little bit under 90 degrees, going up. And I like to do with control. If you don't have control, you will do it like this, you know. So I like always having control. It doesn't matter what kind of weights you're using, more control you will have, the stronger you will be. So I'm a huge fan of dynamic static training. So what does that mean? It means you're holding your, like any object, in our case dumbbell, in a static position, but you're moving around it. In arm wrestling, I know guys are, you can do sometimes like this, but in arm wrestling it's never constant tension. It's never, it's always moving around. So for this exercise, I want to work on really close angle, or if I arm wrestle like this, I will stay it like this. For me, I want to be very tight, very close, again, both shoulders in line, and drop down and lift it back up. Drop down, lift it back up. So if I'm working with big weights, I will lift up and stay right here, you know? So basically doing the full range. If I'm working with lower weights, I will stay where the tension is. So here I still feel tension. It's about 90 degrees to the floor and I'm going just down and up like this. You can change the height of the bench and it will give you a little bit different type of training. So this is again, small adjustment that you should be doing like uh, 
I have said it so many times, don't do the same thing over and over again. Change something just a little bit. So next exercise is very, very simple. All you need, again, is a bench or a place to sit. You take a dumbbell and we are going to do curls. So again, the, my, my main objective is go as high as I can, basically touch my chest here. I'm pulling, pulling my elbow in my thigh. So basically going down so I can isolate that back pressure movement going back. And from here, I can choose to work on partial. So 90 degrees going up or almost full range. I will not go full range. These are not concentrated curls. This is not Arnold. This is arm wrestling. So from here, boom, here like this. Really great exercise to isolate your bicep muscle and to train that position. What this exercise doesn't just give you the strength in that position. It gives you a little bit of defensive position. Basically when someone tries to hit you to the side and if you can activate your elbow flexors, your bicep, your back, you have that spot where you can hold them. So sometimes, sometimes we need to do full range in arm wrestling. Uh, full range doesn't really help us that much, but it gives you that overall strength. So if I'm doing too much partial curls, I will do some light, again, controlled curls, full range. So with dumbbells, one of my favorite exercises is single arm curls. So here I can work it like in my arm wrestling position. So basically going up, slowly eccentric face. So going down eccentric face to 90 degrees, then a little bit faster down. So I can work this with supination, doing supinated curls, or I can just work on my Hummer curls. Slowly down, boom, faster. Hop, slowly down, faster. So. In arm wrestling, we make a lot of good use of these cheat curls, which are basically 90 degrees. You're going slowly down and then you're going faster. So not a lot of guys will take benefit from it, but the arm wrestlers do. Because again, you're holding, you're controlling that weight while it's fighting you. So for me, when I'm doing this kind of exercise, it really doesn't, doesn't matter the full range. The thing that I'm always focusing on is being tight here like this boom you can do a lot of movement you can cheat yourself a little bit just do slow eccentric face so eccentric face in my opinion three to five seconds are the best one to use and it's really great it's it gets very hard and it's yeah it gets very hard so the last exercise i'm going to show you it's a weird one it's a weird on so many levels and if you're gonna do it this in the standard gym everyone's gonna be looking at you so you've been warned it's a great exercise I'm gonna explain why so we are gonna do curls basically with the dumbbell over our knuckles like this so it's right here so it adds stress on your wrist because your wrist is trying to fall off you're activating a lot of your forearm muscles to being able to hold the dumbbell in a place and I like to work from 90 degrees up you can do this standing or you can do this on Scott's bench it will add so much stress you can even go almost full range if you go full range you will really feel it in your wrist not as much on your bicep but again everything is connected in arm wrestling everything is connected more than most sports so if this doesn't work, most likely all this strength will not come in handy. You need to take care of yourself, you need to train different variations. Everything is connected in arm wrestling, is the thing that I want to say. Yeah, I hope this video helped you. Uh, we're going to come back with dumbbell series for our forearms, for all the things that you can do with dumbbells for arm wrestling. Yeah, I think these uh, basically top five videos are really helpful for a lot of people that everyone have the gym that we have. I really appreciate the support. Please like the video, share it with your friends. Maybe someone needs it. Uh, yeah, get some merch, support us, uh, become a member, stay strong. 
and love arm wrestling.